people of Earth, tis I, Get Dave the Magazine Skipper, welcome back. Off camera, I did a little grinding. I'm gonna show you the fruits of my labor. I moved the GFs around a little bit. It's gonna be good in just a little bit. Um, Zell is making, or missing, HP junction, but he's getting it right now. And more importantly, this is what I'm gonna show you. He's got Mug! And Renoa, Renoa, has a card. So basically I wanted to grind ability points. Um, I didn't really want to level up my characters a ton without, you know, your consent. So what I did is turned enemies into cards, which is kind of like capturing a Pokemon, and you don't get experience, you do get AP though. So we didn't gain as many levels. And I just want to do one other thing. I'm thinking we're going to go with Encounter Half for a long while. Let me know what you think. People like half encounter rate versus none. Oh yeah, this, this is gonna end well. <laughs> Thank you, Zell. Yeah. They did just shoot missiles at us and it's right there. Hmm. Well, it looks like something else is important. Remember Elon was in the garden when it was attacked. But I think that was mostly them trying to get seed taken care of. Yep. Don't do it, I'm going to beg. Probably time for us to help since, you know, <laughs> listen a little longer. Oh. All right, we're going to help. That one was a toss up. By the way, we're about to see why Squall's a good leader. Part three? Yeah. Get the Iron Clad! Huh. Dobe will not understand. Uh, also, you can't turn all enemies into cards. Mostly people. You can't card them. And Squall also has a few things to raise uh, his stats on level up. I got a couple more of those. I don't know, the configuration is just going to be a bit different. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Oh yeah, so Zell's got Mug on. So the reason for that is because I thought I wanted to steal an item from an upcoming boss and then recalled a really soon upcoming boss, an imminent boss, as something I also want to steal. So I kind of forced my hand, did some grinding to get Mug. That's what it was all about. And that was like... 189 AP, I think I had to grind. This looks familiar. Also, if anyone's in there, they're probably dead after that jump. That thing didn't give it all. There's no shocks. Alright, so, as much as I'd like to pummel this thing... Holy cats. I didn't even see if he mugged something. We'll have to find out next time on his next attack. You gotta be careful here. We'll find out. Okay! We wanted Shell. Uh, okay, mug him. Dave, look at the thing. Couldn't steal. That's fine. Uh, we're just gonna go with Kira. Even though he's got a junction. Junction and cure spells is a pretty risky proposition. Um, so protect didn't protect her. Renoa doesn't have spirit junctioning, so, so, so she probably has the lowest magic defense of everyone. And as soon as we steal... Great. Uh, I tear him a new one. Well, we might as well. Let's 
so we really want this to work. Uh, we also probably should put one cure on Squall. Can steal, come on! Man, he really wants her dead. Okay, Squall, cure yourself. And let's shoot a bazooka dog at him, because why not? Uh, I'll give an extensive talk about how limits work in a little bit. The short version is, there is a formula, and the lower your HP, come on, Zell, the more likely you are to have a good limit. And then adding the aura status on top of that helps a ton. Okay, we're fine, we can stomach that. Stole Adamantine, there we go. The shield is down. So Squall's sitting just above a quarter hit point, so if he were closer to death, um, his chances of getting more hits on his Renzo Kukin would be up, because his limit level would go up, his crisis level. Uh, we've already mugged him now. Oh, big mistake. Is it dead dead? You know it was a lot easier this time. Don't panic. Even if things get a little heavy, we'll all float on all right. Now sometimes the plot Seems a little forced. Hey! I guess that was the thing that was at the missile base, which is now at Fisherman's Horizon. After it blew up in an explosion. Look, they had to get the party back together. <laughs> Yay! Hey, Squall's happy. It survived. Oh yeah, there was like a coup. <laughs> Squall's the best. Huh. Yay! Yeah, that's, I mean, but that's really what they cared about, right? Was it destroyed? See, look what's happening! Stone Cold Squall actually cared and was asking how they were doing at a terrible time. Uh, I guess we're taking a look around at the world today. Oh yeah. All right, this is important. So, pacifism. I'm a fairly pacifistic person in real life, IRL. But your philosophy still needs to be able to work in a world where evil exists. So that's where Dobe has some trouble. Hmm? Yep, because recall, Squall is almost always suppressing what he actually thinks. Well, I'm glad to see them. <laughs> Yeah? But she wants to hear the words. <laughs> uh, that took me back. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, he always takes it seriously, though. Yeah, later. But seriously, we should probably talk to Dobe.
Yes, I did. Yeah, that's not a bad response. What am I trying to say? No, I want him to understand. Oh? No, no, we're gonna we're gonna try to make this happen. But evil. Yep. Something called good faith. And there it is. You need, uh... The ideal game is if almost everyone follows the golden rule, but if someone breaks the golden rule, if there's someone out there to uh, go after them, basically. Goodbye, and salute him. Yep, is he gonna agree? No, but we don't need him to agree. Actually, what's over here? It's entirely possible. I've never been over here in my life. Oh my goodness, there's a screen. Holy cow! Also, really good spell. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been here. There might be one sequence in the game where it kind of went down that way. Well, that was pretty uneventful. <laughs> yeah, I alluded to having a certain friend in the last episode, so I'm not going to say too much because it's not my story to tell for the most part. Yeah, sure. Militia. <laughs> There's like 256 cats, yeah. Can't count more than that. You're a bite. Let's see what everyone else says. Looking for a dream. Well, I'm glad you're here. Oh, the cat's coming up to him. 257. Time to overflow to zero. I guess I can fish here now. Gotta keep at it and be patient. Oh, he don't want to play cards. I think you can get a magazine from over there. Anyway, this friend of mine, um, really, really, really nice guy, um, and brought up to be a really nice guy, um, to the point where, um, I, I would accuse him of not understanding evil, which sounds like super philosophical, but I mean it, um, specifically. Hey, Timber Mag- or Maniacs. Um, and saw someone at late one night who might need help, and yada yada yada, got mugged. Okay. So there's an artisan in Shumi Village. Anyway, and it was like a terrible experience for him, and I remember kind of being, uh, it made me angry, like that a friend of mine got hurt, and that he like didn't see it coming because most people reading the situation would have known like this isn't someone who needs help, this is something sketchy going on. And I remember like kind of feeling mad at his parents even for like not spelling it out like hey people want to hurt other people. It's not right, it's not good, but it's there. Anyway, just the events made me think of that. You know, the pacifist who's like, I'm gonna go talk to these people. It's like, they're really... Like, if you understand it as instantly going to die for your ideals, great. But, come on now. Share your depressing stories about human nature in the comments section. Take a look around. Hey! Martine. Yeah, since you ordered me to do an assassination, so 
the lawn garden could be pulled into a mess. Oh, that's kind of ironic. Oh, wow. Is he crying? <laughs> yes! You're in for a challenge. I think he has super good cards. We'll find out. And no problem here. Um, I think the mayor has Quetzalcoatl. Oh, the game's thinking hard. Sometimes the elemental rule really causes the AI to slow down. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll just back off. I think he, if he has like some boss cards, he could have some eights. I don't know if he's gonna have nines. Really, game? Thinking through all the combinations. Anyway, what made matters worse is like a few years later, that friend I was talking about, like he put a post on Facebook or something where he's like, like he's kind of a hippie dude, and he was kind of like, hey, I think people can work together. I believe anyone can find common ground. And I remember just thinking like, that's that's why you got mugged, man. It's like through all that, it's almost like the lesson never got learned. That it's like almost everyone can find common ground. I mean, there's there's just some turds out there. That's all there is to it. All right, let's try this. Uh, the ace is probably completely secure. There we go. And I'm gonna say the nine's probably secure. I don't think the same rule is in effect. Yeah, there we go. Although we did have a behemoth. The like Krista, I think that's a boss. I'm gonna say a really late game boss. The final area has like a ton of, uh, like eight bosses, I think, that you can sort of engage in almost any order you want. Like maybe the layout of the area forces some encounters before others, but anyway, I kind of, they all blur together to me. They're over quickly. Oh, Ultima still hasn't recharged. There are some draw points in this game that are bugged, so they never recharge. The Blizzaga one at Timber Maniacs, I think is one. If this is another, and often it takes a long time for an Ultima one to recharge, uh, then that's really disappointing. Basically, I'm bummed out. By the way, if we gain four more seed levels, sorry about that, uh, it'll go up 500, 500, 500, 10,000. You go from level 30 to level ace, and that's the jump from 20,000 to 30,000. So, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I did fight after all. Eh, whatever. Ask your mayor, he'll explain. Okay, hey man. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't that great a conversation. Please get me out of here. I want to go up. Wow, that conversation was mandatory. That's bonkers. Anyway, there's like a YouTube channel. Don't check it out. Uh, that's like... Let's say, like... Philosophy of life or something. I don't know. It's some guy who was born with a ton of money and is basically just selling Hallmark card stuff, but he's got these videos that are like sharing his personal philosophy. It's super enlightened, but it's like, it's paper thin, man. One jerk and it all comes crumbling apart. All right, so they're fixing up the garden. And I don't want you to get the impression get Dave cynical. I view myself as reasonably optimistic, but you can still put the bar down where it belongs and then have faith in people's ability to surpass that. Yeah, sure. I guess they owe us. 
It's a good response. Of course, man. I guess he's with us now. All right, party it up, Wayne. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> At the stage by the quad. Okay. Yeah, Irvin's a good... He's a bit more emotionally circumspect. Like, Squall's good because of his focus, and that's why a lot of people look up to him, but... Uh, wow. They're repairing the garden, man. <laughs> I'm a sharpshooter who's afraid to shoot. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna check... Like, that's back to the garden. I am gonna check one spot. I'm pretty sure Mayor Dobe, if I could find him again, he'll be there if we come back to the town later. I'm pretty sure he has the Quetzalcoatl card. Or the Quesadilla card. Which, you know, it's okay. You can refine some good stuff out of it if you're willing to do that. I don't know how to get down there. There's a fisherman... ...who has a magazine somewhere around here. I'm not gonna fret too much about it. Basically, there's a series of magazines called Occult Fan. Um... And there... Wow. Sorry. Sorry, group. But this is a really great story, so don't get upset. And they explain some of, I think it's like the background lore for the game that's not really mentioned anywhere else. Like, um, if you do higher level seed tests, sometimes they have like weird trivia from it too. Let's, let's give it a look. Uh, tutorial. Test. Let's write a test together. Bombs sometimes self-detonate. Yep. Uh, I've never been there, but I'm going to say yes. Combat King. Yes. You can draw a GF from Elverett on the communication tower. Did. Even if afflicted with stop while summoning a GF, summoning continues because the GF is not affected by stop. I'm not sure. Yes. Defend protects you from all physical attacks, but magic attacks can still inflict damage. We don't have defend yet. Um, I'm going to say yes. Junction life to raise defense against all elemental attributes. True. There's a library in Belong Garden. Yes. Mega Phoenix is an item that casts Phoenix down on all party members. Yes. You can refine one bomb spirit from one bomb card. I'm gonna say no. Alright, we got two wrong. Anyway, some of them are gonna like start asking you about like the creation of the world. And they're all just kind of hidden. It's a lot like the Cosmogony magazines in FF15. If someone had never played those do not open, so I'm kind of curious. Well, this is called Chekhov's gun. Consider it loaded. We gotta go to the quad. Anyway, yeah, if someone had only played one of the two games, like if you'd only played FF8 and wanted to know what FF15 was like, I would say it is the most like this of every Final Fantasy. A couple people latched on to like, well, the battle system's different. Uh, high, enough, high enough level, FF15's battle system kind of becomes turn-based again, because you hold down dodge until you pick your moment, and really it ends up feeling a bit like this anyway. Maybe with a bit more chaos and a bit less control, but I mean, that's split in details. The world feels like FF8's in a big way to me. Warts and all. I'm pretty sure this is the quad. We're gonna commit. Yeah, we're in the right spot. Does that look like... I mean, I guess that's mist, but to me it looks like that's a hot tub down there. A pretty nice one. Wah wah. So... They were gonna set stuff up here for a festival. But there was the whole insurrection. 
Oh yeah, and that part too. And the missile attack. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, let's, let's try it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he does care. Yeah, and we have seen that Squall does boil things that could be long conversations down to whatever or uh, the garden safe. No other important details are needed. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I was just trying to help. He's just sensitive. <laughs> Peace out. Alrighty. Booyah. What now? Whoa, narrative focus shift? Okay, I lied. I think I said the narrative falls squall all the time, but... I'm so brilliant. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm sure they'll do it. I hope all the musicians weren't traitors, because, uh... I haven't seen many of them around lately. <laughs> nice. Third base, here we come. The diary? Yeah, what's that all about? We should assassinate her. Yep, alone can send people back. But why is that valuable? That's what his report was. One last hiding place. Because there's only like eight cities in the world, remember? Yeah, you think she's gonna stop after? Cue up the microphone. Alright everybody, welcome to the plot of the game. I hope none of you are sleeping. Yeah, remember Galbadia, like, the gardens are hosts to seeds, seeds have a secret mission. Trabia's been destroyed and Galbadia Garden, well, I mean, we saw Martine there and the sorceress wanted to use it as her base, so let's assume it's on the other side. So that leaves us. So we're about to go on a journey, folks. Hey, folks, get Daved here. Oh, Zell's at the back of the line. Yep, now that we can move around. Yeah, so we've got... There you go! Squall is your new leader. If Squall can handle a diplomatic situation, as he did. Yep, way to talk it over with him. I don't even have a choice. Welcome to real leadership, man. If you want to know who the fake leader is, look at the job titles. If you want to look at, find the real leader, find the followers. The willing ones. Squall has the followers. He was leading even without the title. Yeah, Destiny, you don't even have a choice. Well, Squall, there's things... 
There's things you still don't know. What if I quit? That's right, this is your only world. <laughs> now you know why all his friends tell him to stop thinking every once in a while. He genuinely does it too much. Yep. Or, you know, you could finally learn to rely on people. Yeah, now you also know why Sid isn't remaining in command, because the order is to kill his wife. Probably best that he just gives that order once and isn't, you know, isn't involved any further. Welcome... You know what? We're gonna do it next time. Prepare for... well, weird? I don't know. And I know we've been doing this so far. I still mean it. Like, prepare for more weird. 